हेलो नमस्ते व्यूअर माय नेम इज संजय कुमार एंड टुडे आई एम वेलकमिंग यू इन माय चैनल व्हिच इज एजुकेशन फंडा सो लेट्स स्टार्ट टू टुडेस क्लास टुडेस टॉपिक इज इजीएस्ट वे टू डू कोड ऑफ मीडिया क्वेरी और आई कैन आल्सो से हाउ टू डू कोड ऑफ मीडिया क्वेरी इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो व्हिच वाज व्हाट इज मीडिया क्वेरी आई वाज डिस्कस्ड अबाउट बेसिक इन्फो अबाउट मीडिया क्वेरी एंड आई वाज आल्सो टोल्ड यू गाइस how to write code in media query so this is the video on my desktop you can see here guys i created a folder of media query in this media query folder i created a style sheet in desktop.php and there is one image in ing folder now i am in my editor which is a, which is bracket so firstly here i am creating a basic web page guys after creating a basic web page i'll apply a code of media query but yes this is sort this is the easiest way to do code of media query so i am suggesting you so please keep watching my full video and here i am place creating a class of container in this container class i created another class of header here i am creating a h1 tag and write some test which is media files demo after this uh, here i am creating a guys image tag for inserting a image into web page as you can see here in img folder the image name is youtube-art.jpg now in this content class i create a three tags for about videos and contact us this is just to create a demo web page guys and i hope you already know what is html and css and how to write code of html and css if you are watching my this video if you don't know yet so i am suggesting you so please watch the video of html and css there is lots of video in youtube here i am creating a p tag in this p tag i insert some demo paragraph such as lorem if you want to know guys how i am typing this coding in very fast manner so i am suggesting you to watch my video of why i am using bracket you can watch my video you can go into my channel or you can go into the description of this video in the description you will see the link of why i am using bracket that video which is very important video friends for any web developer web designers which is related to or any student who is studying in it and cse branch so this is most important thing here i am link up a style sheet by external style sheet here i am using a external style sheet guys you can also use internal style sheet so the basic web page is created already created now i am giving some style for basic web page or i can say demo web page so in this style tag i give a padding and margin 0 pixel and body tag i just give a font family of such as sans serif now as you can see here guys it is applying the style sheet is connected because the padding and margin is 0 pixel and font family is also changed so now i am put some more css code after that i'll tell you how to move this code into media query so this is h1 and s3 tag which i am selecting right now for this tag i give a text length center and font weight whatever you want to give style guys you can give it so font weight of 700 as you can see here the tags of h1 and s3 is move into center of the web page and uh, test transform 
uppercase this i am using for uppercase it means the text is automatically move into capitalize all capital letters so as you can see here media query demo about videos contact is automatically in uppercase letter so letter spacing i am just giving a style for look like a basic web page now i am styling a p tag guys letter spacing 0.5 pixel i should give i think so margin left and right so such as 70 pixel of margin left and margin right of 70 pixel so let's see the web page guys now as you can see here in the p tag the margin left and right is applying but the image is not responsive at all it is looking very bad so let's do something for this guys here my desktop screen width is 1600 pixel guys your screen width i don't know what is your screen width actually whatever you can decide but here i am giving it 1600 pixel so the image is automatically set on my screen but it is still not responsive guys for this here is the very easy css trick i am just giving a percentage of image so 100 percent now it is automatically resized according to the screen resolutions as you can see here guys but the text as you can see here the left right margin of text and the text such as h1 and h3 it is not looking good at all even it is looking very bad so for this i'll apply a media query for this as i told you in my previous video what is media query as i discussed you everything about media query so here i write a code of media query now i'm giving a just a comment for easy to understood so media query start comment and media query finish comment this is not a coding guys this is just a comment and uh, actually guys there is two ways to do code of media query there is only two ways we can use this two way according to our convenience according to project requirement website requirement whatever you can see according to i can say themselves as requirement so there are two ways to do code of media query what are those so here i am telling you first way and second way what is the first way to write code in media query and what is the second way to write code in media query as i already told you there is two types of write code in media query and this is really easy guys this is not actually very tough if once you understand the concept you can easily apply it in web, any web page in on convenience project requirement whatever you can see so the first way guys in this we specify the screen size guys specify the screen size is the first way of write media query media only screen and max width whatever you want to give whatever screen size you want to give such as here i am giving a screen size of 768 pixel so from this 768 pixel the changes will apply and shown or into web page so and what is the second way in the second way we can specify the screen resolution guys since minimum screen to maximum screen media screen and minimum width such as here i am giving a 480 pixel of minimum width and maximum width max width 
this is the important thing guys you should write media query tag in this manner for applying a proper media query code so this is to a media only screen and into parenthesis media hyphen with column 768 pixel and second way is media screen and minimum width 480 pixel and max width 768 pixel as you can see here guys the screen resolution such as this is 346 pixel 373 410 pixel so as this we can define our coding so let's uh, write some code for this firstly i want to give a code of h1 tag so for this h1 tag the font size of h1 tag in desktop size resolution is looking good but in mobile size resolution is very bad guys so that's why i am giving a size of reduce the size of font size of h1 tag as you can see here guys it is reduced now from 768 pixel so it means it is applied applied since 0 pixel to 768 pixel as you can see here the font size is reduced but it is looking very small so i am giving a 22 pixel of font size and s3 tag for s3 tag I am here giving a font size of 18 pixels. This is the media query code, guys, which is the easiest way. I hope you understanding how to do how I am doing all this. P tag, as you can see here, the margin left and right is 70 pixel, which is looking good at bigger screen but not good at smaller screen so here i am giving a margin left of 30 pixel and margin right i am also giving a 30 pixel so let's see how it is looking as you can see here guys The margin left and right is reduced by coding as you can see here me in the inspect element the media screen just because of this coding the margin left and right is 30 pixel it is applying so it is looking good isn't it i know it is looking bad but this is just a demo guys so now i just cut and copy and paste it here into the second type of media query which is 480 pixel to 768 pixel as you, now you can easily see the difference between these these two types of media query so this is the box i can say which is applied from 480 pixel to 768 pixel as you can see here the margin left and right above 768 pixel is 70 pixel as uh, i am producing the size of the browser now the margin left and right is 30 pixel as you can see here guys it but it is also only applying from 480 pixel to 768 pixel as you can see here it is still look good at all but now now you can see here guys because it is below 480 pixel it is looking really very bad because the media query is not applying and or i am not specifying the media query for that screen below 480 pixel that's why 
so i hope guys you understand how we can implement and how we can change the code into media query how we can make a responsive web page you can you will get all the answers of this as you can see here guys so if you like my video guys so press the like button if you don't like press the dislike button you can but please tell in comment section why you dislike my video and what what improvements i need to do in my video which is very important for my individual improvement ask anything in comment section whatever suggestions you have any questions you have you can ask it into comment section and i will try to give as soon as possible reply and uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel guys if you want to watch more videos like this and related videos of schools college and web development so please subscribe my channel share my channel for support me guys so thank you so much for giving your valuable time i will meet you in my next video till then take care goodbye